All right, so now let's go into example one. Let's go ahead and start graphing these things out and get into the nitty gritty of all this stuff. All right, so we're going to start with example one, graphing inequalities. And our first example, or first part of the example, is going to be x is less than three. Okay, so let's make this easy. We already know, first off, draw a number line. We put three directly in the middle. And then we look at, okay, do we shade left or do we shade right? The great thing about this, if the variable is on the left side, let's write this out. If the variable is on the left side, we're going to shade the way the arrow is pointing. Let's say inequality is pointing. Now with that again, if the variable is on the left side, so not if x is over here, but if it's on the left side over here. So that means since it's on the left side, it means we can go ahead and shade everything pointing this direction, which is x is less than 3. This means we shade everything that is smaller than 3 right here. Smaller than. So much smaller. Small, 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 small. Shade it. All that good stuff. All right, so now the other part is we just talked about on the last or two videos ago. We said that now instead of us using print, open and closed circles, now we use parentheses and brackets. And because this is just a less than sign, no equal to sign on it at all, we're going to use parentheses. But we have to figure out which one of these to use. And what I love to think about here is think of these as like the inside of cups. This right here is like the inside of the cup. That's the inside of the cup. If you pour water into the cup, that makes sense. That's smart. That's what you do so you can drink it out and everything, especially if you're tired or you're thirsty and all the good stuff. Now, look at these as like the back of the cup. If you look at it and you hit it, the back of the cup, that's going to be like, make you look stupid because you're going to have water everywhere. You're going to get your shoes like all dirty, all wet and everything. Get your clothes all wet and everything's going to look at you like you're stupid, like you peed on yourself or something of that sort. So we don't want you to try to pee on yourself and look like that. So we're always going to shade inside of that part. So with it, if we look at it, if we go, and I'm just going to just draw this right now just to show you. If you go like this, that's like hitting the back of that cup. And it's like you're, you're, you're going to look stupid right there because it's going to bounce off. It's going to spill off on the sides. And it's going to get on your shoes, your shirt, especially if you have like that nice, like new, like blouse and everything that you got. And you want to look cute and everything, girls. Um, that would make would not make sense because you got everything wet. If you have the open clothes, open toe shoes or if you have like your flip flops on or something like that, it's going to get on your shoes and all that good stuff. So with that, we need to go inside of the prints here, inside of that cup. So when we shade it, it's going to always cup around this part here. So your bracket and your parentheses will always cup around the shaded part. Take your bracket and parentheses. But always cup around the shaded part. So that means you need to shade first. So it's important. Shade first and then choose the Princeton bracket that cups around that shaded part. Important, important. So a couple of things to remember and we're going to get more practice with it. So now we're, next one we're going to deal with is actually then with parentheses. Uh, then with brackets, sorry. So that's the A. Let's go to B. All right, so with B, we're going to use X is greater than or equal to negative 1. And again, we're going to do our number line. Oops. And again, let's do this. We'll do that part next. We'll do that. We'll do another part that we, we left off in that top part. All right, so again, 
we're going to put negative 1 in the middle. We're going to look at it since the variable is on the left side. So if the variable is on the left side, we shade the way it's, the arrow is pointing, where the inequality is pointing. So the arrows, the x is on the left side, so we can shade wherever this is pointing. So since it's greater than negative 1, we shade on this side that's bigger than negative 1. All those numbers are bigger. And then again, so we shade it first. And then again, we know we're dealing with brackets here because it has an equal to sign there. And again, we choose the bracket that cups around the shaded part. The bracket that always cup around the shaded part. So that means we're going to use this one because it's going to cup around the shaded part. Now, the thing we left off on the first one is make sure we put our infinities here. So negative infinity on this side, positive infinity on this side. Left that part off, so that was my bad. All right, so again, let's throw this back up on A, put infinities there. All right, so again, this is not hard. We can do this. And so let's try C. And here, this one is going to be a, just a little different. Just a little. And hopefully you guys remember what this is called. And if you don't, just think about what's happening here. X is between two numbers. So X is between negative 1 and 3. So when we do our shading, because x is between negative 1 and 3, between, important word, between, between, important, between. So since x is between two numbers, that means we're going to shade between the two numbers. So x is between two numbers. So shade between those two numbers. So it's not bad. So X is there. So we shade there. All right, so now the last part is just figuring out again, brackets, parentheses, and making sure you remember that you cup around the shaded part only. Cup around the shaded part. So for the first one, we know we're dealing with parentheses here because it does not have an equal to sign. So we know we're dealing with one of these two. And so negative one, we had to figure out, are we using this one or this one? So that we cup around the shaded part. So here, we're going to cup around here. We're going to use this one because it cups around the shaded part. It goes, it cups around it. It, sh it goes around it. The other way will cause it to hit the back of it and then it'll spill off in your shoes and all the good stuff. And all the good, yada, yada, yada. All right, then for the other part here, the three, we have parentheses, uh, brackets, sorry, brackets going on there because it has the equal to sign right there for that. And again, we use the one that cups around the shaded part. And so here, this cups around the shaded part here. And bam, that's it. We have negative one to three and X is between them, so we shade it between. We use a parenthesis on this side to cup around it and a bracket on that side to cup around that because of the inequality signs that we have. And that's all there is when it comes to graphing inequalities. That's it. It's a simple and easy. You can do it. You can do it. All right. So now at this point, let's go ahead and give you the practice.